Hey, my name is Ralph, I'm a Flex Film, and today we're gonna to show the Gasket Wizard. I'm actually gonna unbox this and show you everything that comes in the Gasket Wizard kit. We're gonna do some examples on how this tool could be useful for you in the shop, and try to hit the highlights on what we're seeing in the field people do. This is the Gasket Wizard, and here we go. Okay, what we've all been waiting for. I've been wanting to unbox this ever since it came in today. But um, there's a lot of components in this box. This is called the Gasket Wizard again. I'm just gonna take it out the way it came to me. There seems like a series of bungee cords, the bubble wrap. We also have some um, directions. That'll be helpful maybe if we wanna read over them. We also have uh, several of these um, uh, stainless steel plates and that's everything in the box. I'll put that to the side. Lots of different plates. These are the same exact design for the plates. There's some of them have holes in them for the bungee cords to go in them. And there's different, uh, there's different widths of the plates. Uh, the widths of the plates are to accommodate different widths of doors. Um, this is an old tool, been around for years. I've ordered several of them in my days. Let me see, I'm just kind of taking them all, all out here. And then these are the largest ones. So you can see all the different plate sizes that we, we have in the box, different sizes. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a window here to my right. I've also uh, cut out a piece of film, yeah, pre-shrunk it, just kind of showing you how we can use this tool to basically get down into the gaskets and we can open the gaskets up so we can slide our film down. This tool can be useful for, for, the, for, the, for the bottom loaders as well as the top loaders. Anytime you don't are not able to pull out a gasket and you wanna uh, use something uh, like this to slide down into the gasket and, and pull the gasket back, this tool can be helpful. I can show you a couple of pitfalls I've seen over the years with this tool. Because if you got a gasket and this, this, this little tool's gonna, gonna go down, so this could be the glass, say the gasket's right here. So I wanna, I wanna put this tool down here and I'm gonna try to pull the gasket away from the glass. I'm gonna create an area where I can put the film, but, but when I'm pulling this back, I'm also bumping the bottom of the glass. So I'm actually creating a, a, a problem. If I'm pulling it back, I can't get the film down so far. So sometimes I've seen guys modify this, this set with a handle so that they can get the gasket wizard down in there keep that hole open to get the film down really far instead of having to pull it back to create a, 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 an obstacle of touching the glass where you can't slide past. Uh, the bungee cords would, would, would create that permanent opening of the, of the gasket and you could probably cut the film short and you'd be fine. But if you want to get it further down, maybe the bottom loaders, that they're having a problem actually using the, these uh, bungee cords. But there's a simple modification I can show you that, that these uh, bottom loaders are using. I, I think I can come right over here. I've got some um, Pro Unger handles. I've got two different kinds here. I could probably even talk about this green one too. Let me grab it. But what's happening here is these Pro Unger handles. Uh, this one right here has got the, I've got the lever on it. This one has got the screw. They're the same handles. They're just two different styles. And then you got this third one here. It's a different brand name. It's, it's essentially the same thing. It's got a little spring action. But a lot of these guys are taking this plate and they're modifying these handles to fit these plates. You can't do it just like this. You're gonna have to either punch some holes in it, weld it. I'm not gonna make this video about how these guys are modifying this to make this work, but I'm just gonna show you what they're doing. And, and then they're using this, these handles to stick down in, into the, to the, here's the glass. They're coming down here and they're pulling the gaskets back. Some of it, when you release it, then you create that space to go deeper and you can, you've got that control with the handle. Again, I showed the green one. There's a Pro Unger. I think the Pro Unger is the one I'm seeing the most. See, same thing. This is just probably the most popular handle. And now and I'm just showing you with the small one, you can also do it with the, the wider ones. Again, this is the tool that you can actually make yourself and get that to mount on there the way you want it to. And then you've got, a, you've got a tool now, you know, that you can do manually or you don't have to have any handle at all. But let's go over here to the, to the glass and let's, um, for this video, I'm gonna top load this and I'm gonna use these tools to show you how we can spread the gasket and use the, 
uh, gasket wizard to get the film down underneath the gasket. So here we go. Okay, now what I've done here in this scene is I've set this up the way I believe this uh, was intended to be used. And I think over the years, a lot of tenors have found a lot of uses for this that are that go over and beyond the intended use that have been very creative. But what I've done is I've actually this is the this is the longest uh, shield that I that I found, and so I believe this is the the one that was intended to do most side door windows. Now they make different sizes for your needs, maybe different size windows. But let me let me just show you what I did. I just kind of got the corner of this thing and I just sort of push it down and they just fall in behind the gasket. And then, then I use the holes to, and the bungee cords that came with it. The bungee cords on the end have adjustments where you can make them long or short. It's really easy to do. And then I, I, I'm applying tension, not too much. I don't want this thing to come up and pop me in the eye, but I got enough tension just to pull this back so that you know, I don't have to sit here and hold it and fight with that. I mean, that's what the bungee cords are for. Now, now I'm creating a space in between this gasket and the glass that I can land the film at the bottom, you know, and, and plant it just like I need it to. And then uh, when I'm done, I can easily remove this plate and, that, and then I go into the next window. That's what the intended purpose for, I believe, in my opinion, for this, for this uh, kit. Now, uh, I want to point out a few things. You also have to notice that if you do put the film on and, and you've got some small or finger bubbles that are at the bottom of the glass, you know, this is also a great like heat shield, okay? You, you can work on uh, taking a heat gun, you know, and heating fingers out and reduce the chances, almost eliminate the chances of you burning a door panel, okay? If you didn't have a heat shield here and you're heating a finger and the heat bounced off the glass, went onto some of these real thin door panels, that's where you burn the little holes in there. That's where customers get really unhappy. Anyway, uh, I've talked earlier about the handles you know, that people are modifying, that, you know, they're, then they're using those to put in here like this, and then they can go backwards and forwards, you know, and try to work the film along the way, and then take it out, and then they, you know, squeegee everything from that point on. Another useful way to modify this tool. Uh, sometimes people don't always use the bungee cords. Sometimes they just put the plates in, and they just, uh, you know, just kind of pull them back with their hands, and then put the film down in there, and then, you know, I'm just showing you the options that you have with this kit. But anyway, in the next scene, I'm just going to top load the film and then we're going to, you know, continue to use the plate so that I can show you how we can use this tool to help us ease the film behind the gasket. And again, before I go, we can roll the window and move it up and down freely after this has been installed. So let's install some film and show you how it works and then uh, that ought to probably conclude our video. Thank you. Okay, now let's install the film. I've already rolled the window down about two inches. I've already squeegeed everything. Uh, I, I'm ready to uh, wet the glass with my slip solution and then I'm going to go over here and peel the film and let's put it on. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm also trying a slip solution out for the first time. Hope it does well. <laughs> we'll find out here in a minute. I could have grabbed the tent without pinching on it with my hands. I'm really not trying to do a how-to video on how to tent a Volkswagen side door in a studio, but I am um, wanting to see how this uh, cool gasket wizard works with, you know, and. A lot of people have been asking for it. I'm not going to worry about my my gap up there as you know being as perfect as I normally get them. I'm, I'm more worried about the bottom and how we're going to finish it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a little gap in there because I I want there to be more slack at the bottom because I've you know I'm, I'm going to show this gasket wizard and you know how we're, how it's going to how we're going to manage everything. Okay. Also. We're not going to do some of the hard tooling steps I normally do. This is just a, again, how to use this gasket wizard and what we can do with it. And by the way, this slip solution is really nice. I'm learning some things about it as we go along. Uh, not trying to make the video about that, but we are creating a new slip solution product. Okay, see how nice that is? It won't allow it to move. It's, there's a lot of cool things coming down the pipe with that. Okay, I'm going to roll it up. See, I can freely 
move the window with the gasket wizard. Now we can also bottom load, of course, with the gasket wizard. I may have to do that one as well. I'm a top loader, so you know I'm, I'm going to have to top load. I think if we were going to bottom load, though, we're not seeing a lot of these guys using the bungee cords. We're not seeing, you know, uh, we're usually seeing the guys with the handles. They're usually smaller. They're usually moving them back and forth, trying to get them in. The, the, the top loaders are probably going to do it like this, where we're going to use a larger one in the kit, you know, and we're just going to, you know, again, we're going to try to just kind of use the, take advantage of what it does and just cut the film rather short at the bottom. We don't want to get it too far down in there, but we want to get it below that, you know, that rub rail. So um, here we go. I want to wet the, wet it real good. Film our leaf liner off. Now I got some tape on there because this is a Volkswagen, old Volkswagen window. It's got felt on the sides. So I had to mask it so we don't have any of the little hair-like things from the felt kind of bleeding back into our film. Uh, okay, here's what I'm, we're going to show you how this, the tool works, okay? I'm, I'm just going to be working on trying to trying to kind of get it to relax down in the cracks here. Now, as you notice, I don't have the luxury. You know, I, I guess if this is going to be bungee corded, I can't move anything around. I might just revert back to my, my old faithful Platinum Easy Reach. And right here where it ends, I can create my own little little gap for it to kind of go down in. So let's see. Yeah, see, it just falls right in there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to pick up on it a little bit. I know I got the plenty of space right there. It's just this, you know, this corner I have to manage here around this tape and everything. A little tricky. I, I picked this Volkswagen door on purpose. I wanted it to be more difficult, you know, because Volkswagens are notoriously tight, you know, and people would probably use a tool like this on a, on a Volkswagen. So I thought this was an appropriate choice of a door to show this tool off because Heck, we, we, you know, we don't want just an easy one to do. We wanted to kind of challenge us a little bit. Okay, look, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to, we wanted to get this to fall in there. I didn't do any double snap technique where I had to over shrink it. Uh, and the reason I didn't do that is because I thought maybe we might uh, wind up with some cool little fingers here that we don't really think are cool so that I could show you guys how to use this as a heat shield to heat them out after you, you, you discover them, which you, know, you don't want to, but if you do, we, we got a remedy. To, to deal with them, and we've got our heat shield to help us with that. So I'm just gonna go through the motions of trying to get my film to lay down uh, with a squeegee, get, you know, just like anybody would. No, no special technique here. Um, looks like I'm gonna wind up with a finger or two, maybe. Let's see. Maybe we will. That's kind of cool if we do. I, I wanna, I wanna be able to show, you know, what what we're gonna do to fix it. Okay, looks like we got one there. Maybe we'll see. Let's uh, let's push this down a little bit. See, we got one on the side. Didn't want that to happen, but it's okay. Okay, we got one there. We got one there. Now you know, if I was going to do my regular installation method with the double snap, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any fingers. Well, maybe I just got rid of them with my hard card. No, I got one coming up. Good, I'm good. That's what I want. I want one to come up. Uh, normally I don't, but in the video I do. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I don't normally do this, but for the video, I just want people to see what I see. I got a little bit of welding slag on the outside of this window. I didn't notice it. This came from a junkyard, so uh, that's what that stuff is. But anyway, here we go. We definitely got moisture floating around at the bottom. That's usually where our fingers are coming from. And again, we want to. We don't want to give this back to the customer. Um, we, you know, before we'd use a heat gun, you know, we could always um, try to soak up some of the moisture, you know, with a paper towel. That's probably the first thing I would actually try. That's where it's coming from. Get rid of it, and then your finger goes away. Um, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep one in there. I just want to do a heat gun on it. Um, normally, I wouldn't tent like this, but. Uh, I want to change over to a different card. This is a, a, a Tri-Edge X. I like the shape of it. It's a softer plastic. You know, it's not going to scratch my tent like that Platinum will. I don't like to use that Platinum out in what I call the open waters. I like to use the Platinum in the, you know, in the cracks. I don't want to come out into here where you can see it. So I've got this little finger. You want to get a close-up on that finger? I just want people to see what I see. Uh, it's, it's right there. Can, can you get a good take on it there? 
I don't want to get close. I want to. I want to try to. I want to heat the the fool out of this little finger. And I'm not going to be scared of this door panel because I have a heat shield right here. But you know, I'm, here I go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit it. See, I can. I can put a lot of heat down in there. I don't have to worry about burning my door panel. I got my heat shield here. See, I'm. I'm brewing up other fingers. And if I wanted to take the bungee cords off and shift this over and, and do a little bit on the sides, uh, I could always do that. Anyway, that's what I like about, the, you know, if you've got this in there, you, you know, you do have the luxury of drying out that additional moisture, stopping those extra fingers and making for a really nice tent job. But anyway, um, taking, it, taking it out is pretty simple. Um, you just don't want to have this thing come back and pop you in the eye because I've, you know, anytime you're dealing with bungee cords, I've, I've heard of horror, horror stories about that. So I'm just going to be real careful, kind of look away from it. I don't want this to pop me in the eye. Okay. And then I want to uh, pick this up. See, I don't, see, I don't want to scratch the tent pulling this out. That's that can happen. You can pull this out real rough and those little edges, you can scratch the tent. So, so another thing I try to do is kind of carefully pull it out and pull it away. And there, you know, that's, that's my bottom. This little heat shield's a little, a little warm, <laughs> but that's what this does. You know, you can, uh, if you want to go back and, you know, like I was saying, kind of catch something over here, you know, you can scratch it, putting it in too. So you got to be really careful, you know, so you can kind of put it back. Now, look, this is kind of a big bulky piece of uh, metal. I want to get up real quick and show you what I would recommend you do if you want to go back. You might want to use one of these smaller ones. I didn't get the smallest one, but um, it's easier to manage a smaller one sometimes than the larger one and get it in there. So then, then you can move it around. See how you can move that around? You can move it over here. If you have to heat, see how you know that's what I like about it. And you come over here and work, you come over here and work, come over here and work. You don't have to have the bungee cord all the time. That's just an option. And that's why they put it in there. And then, of course, I want to take it out. Take it out. But this is the, this is it right here. That's what it looks like. Uh, I've even seen people get these made at machine shops and uh, customize them for different door panels and have their own handles welded. But anyway, this is the Gasket Wizard. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you understand all the uses this wonderful tool has. But thank you. Good luck.